Mike, you might find this hard to believe, but there is a way to feed a family of four for less than the cost of a movie. Aviva Govarb is the author of The Six O'Clock Scramble, and she's here now along with her nine-year-old daughter, Celia. And welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank it's you. Celia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wonderful to be First, here. First, I love the title, The Six O'Clock Scramble. Tell me about that. Well, we all know what it feels like at six o'clock when you're getting home from work or everyone's If you're home lucky enough school, to get home that If early. you're lucky enough, exactly. And you have to get some food on the table for your family. So you want to get something healthy and delicious, but quick on mm -hmm. the table. So the six o'clock scramble came out of my experiences doing that. All right, so tell us about what you're making today. Well, today we are making a budget stretching meal, a California taco salad. And this is great because it's an all-in-one dish meal right. with protein and colorful. It's great for the spring and summer. And the best thing about it is it's healthy, but it costs less than $8 total to make. Uh, that, and that's the real bargain because we've been the, doing all the stories talking about, about how, how expensive everything is. Wheat, rice, sugar, corn, you name it. So what goes into the salad? Well, first we have here, you can either use iceberg or crunchy romaine hearts. And that's what I've used because it's a little bit healthier. Okay. And Celia is going to add some black beans to the salad. And you can sprinkle those in there, Celia. Right. And this is a good one because you can get the kids involved. Nothing the kids can so... get involved. And then if you have a picky eater who doesn't necessarily go quick, doesn't necessarily like salad, then mm -hmm. you can put some of the things separately on a plate for them. That's what we do for exactly. my son. And they can still have all the elements without it being in a like salad. Black olives. So exactly. What's next? And so next we're going to add the cheese, Celia. And what kind of cheese? It, uh, you looks can like use dry color. this is um, yes. You can use the Mexican blend. Mm -hmm. The cheapest way to do it actually, but I didn't do it in this case, and it still is cheap. Is to buy your own block and grate it yourself. You oh, can use yes. cheddar or Mexican or Monterey Jack, whatever you like. And then you can buy one of those big uh, blocks in bulk, so that exactly. uh, makes it go a little. Bit and you longer. can even, if you buy a big piece, you can even freeze part of it. Mm -hmm. And the most, the best way to save money though is by cooking at home. Right. That yes. is just no matter how you do it, it's going to be cheaper than eating out, and usually you're healthier. Aviva, have you, do you remember when it was this tough to put a meal on the table, a, a healthy meal, with prices going through the roof like this? I well, mean, everything, milk, bread. It is, but one thing that I've done is I've compared, and Americans spend about half of their food dollars on out-of-the-home food, and it gets really expensive. And so I've found that by cooking at home and shopping at once with a plan for the whole week, you can save so much money. And so that's been my experience and I've wanted to share it with other people. Okay. And it's also healthier and a great way to be with your family. So I'm All gonna right. put in some avocado here. And Celia, you can go ahead and add our next ingredient, which I believe is the olives. All right. And these are black these olives. These are black and olives said, and I bought like them. These, some of these can be put off to the side and can be added afterwards. Exactly, I happen to love black olives as We've a kid. We've got a minute left. And we are going to add our tomatoes, Celia. And how many tomatoes do we All have All of here? them. We have two tomatoes chopped up. And then we are going to, there we go, beautiful job. Celia, what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze some fresh lime juice into a vinaigrette dressing. You can buy it or make it. I made my own, of course, which mm -hmm. is simple to do. And she's going to put it right in here and okay, squeeze. And thank you so much. And the other thing you can do instead of mango is to use, I mean, instead of tomatoes, to use a mango, which is mm -hmm. just another fun alternative. So I brought one to show. And actually, those are pretty affordable right now, too. Right. And as you said, this is not only colorful, it's inexpensive, it's healthy. healthy. And that's exactly. the main thing. Exactly. Now, Celia, do you want to pour some dressing on there? Sure. Shake that around. And then we're going to top it off. You can either top it off. I would use canned corn kernels, mm -hmm. or you can use frozen corn kernels, or you can even use tortilla chips. But what I'm going to do is garnish it instead with some tortilla chips. All right. We're putting the corn we in go. there. We're running out of go time, ahead. but we will do a taste test after this. And if you want to be even and more robust in the salad, this looks like something. This is if it. you've got less over chicken exactly. or something, you can, you can chicken, throw in there as well. Sausage, anything you have. It's a great end of the week meal to use up what you have left over. All right, very good. We are going to taste the salad. The book is called The Six O'Clock Scramble by Aviva Goldfarb, and we'll see what she and Celia have cooked up when we come back. We'll also be checking Wall Street, and Kim will check the seven day forecast. So stay with us. I need to do something really important. What's that? Remember this? What? I'm waiting for my camera shot. Okay. This was Wonder Woman, oh, right? Oh, Wonder Woman, yeah. <laughs>
Remember this? Glad you explained it because I wasn't quite sure what you were doing. She would deflect your stuff with her right. Yes, exactly. And Aviva's going, my daughter's watching this. Okay. Okay. Wonder Woman was great. Good role model. Aviva, you also made the dressing quickly. The recipe for the dressing is just half olive oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of mayonnaise to make it creamy, just about a teaspoon. And then we added our fresh lime juice, as you saw. And recipes are available at thescramble.com and W. USA9.com. We, we don't click link on it. recipes. Mm -hmm. We're linking to it. And the thing that's really good, it's got a nice flavor, but you didn't put any salt in it. No, I use no salt in almost anything I make. And you don't need it with all the lime juice and, and extra flavor. And the olives in there. Very too. good. Yes, and there's right, the olives. Aviva, Celia, thank you very much. That is it for us now. Thank you for joining us. The news continues 24 hours a day at WUSA9.com. JC's back here at noon. Have yourself a terrific day.